Hello everybody, True here bringing you a tutorial video for The Walking Dead's No Man Land Outposts post update 2.1 as I believe this is the quickest and most efficient way to obtain trade goods in the outpost missions. Now this is most pros now this is most profitable if you do have a fuel booster going so you have unlimited fuel although it's still pretty profitable with regular usage at two fuel a time. So what we're going to want to do, and this will work for all levels, just that the values will obviously reflect your um, your level. So you want to go into outposts first and foremost, and we're looking for a raid as per normal. So let's have a look, see what we find. Right now, this this is a really really good one. Now what you're ideally looking for is something other than the rural setting, because the rural setting has a couple of maps which this doesn't work on but this is the lake it's an extremely underpowered base which is fantastic that's ideally what we're looking at the trade goods is 353 we're not bothered about the influence because we're not going to be killing the defenders that's the whole point of this so now my level currently I get anything between 353 and 550 trade goods per run of this so your ideal situation is this one that we have here we're looking at a, a low powered a low defensive um, outpost the defenders aren't an issue because they're not going to factor into this whatsoever so they can be absolutely anything and it's not a rural setting it's lake lake I think has I think all the maps are possible on the lake so we're going to go into it we're going to attack and you can have any setup you want, but bring one scout. The scout is important because scout as a inherent trait, they have extra movement. And that's what we're going to exploit on this one. So we go into the mission. This is going to be a prime example of how it is. Now, since we're not going to be bothered about influence, if we do go into a map and it's not going to be possible to do, we can simply either capture the flag and then quit out through no penalty here whatsoever or if you're not bothered about influence at all you can just quit out immediately and just suffer a 10, 10 point influence loss so let's just have a quick look yeah this one this one's ideal so these are completely underpowered walkers so they're not going to be a threat whatsoever so we're just going to completely ignore them completely ignore them completely and they will only kill them if they get in the way which they have done now so we're going to have to we're going to have to take them out Obviously, you'll be able to do this quicker when you're playing yourself because I'm trying to demonstrate and commentate at the same time, which is slowing me down slightly. So, we capture the objective and we're now looking at lining up at the door. So, you want to get everybody lined up at the door on a fresh move. Like I said, the walkers are no threat. Obviously, if you're fighting equivalent level walkers, you are going to have to uh, stop and take them out. To avoid injury but it still can be a very quick process <clears throat> so we're lining up at the door we're even going to leave those walkers there we're actually good to go here to be honest with you so I'm just going to end the move again because now we've update 2.1 you can take as many goes as you want outside because the threat isn't going to spawn until this gates open so now we're going to uh, we're going to swap these around because we want the scout as close to the the most direct routes possible to the crate. So we're going to end that move again. We're then going to breach the door. Now the key to this is scout and the fact that when you first breach the gate, the enemies, the defenders, do not have overwatch for that very, very first turn. So with the scout's additional movement, they can simply capture the crate un, 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 unimpeded. So capture the crate, complete the mission, bank the 553 trade goods, no injury whatsoever ideal setup now the majority of maps can the, the the trade good crate can be reached in one turn with the scout they add a few exceptions to that rule the the most notable one being the double the double sandbag one in the rural setting which is why i try to avoid the rural setting where possible or if the game keeps giving you that one then you can simply go and have a look see if a person does have that set up if they do quit out or just capture the flag and quit out if you if you are bothered about the influence now the reason i'm saying this is the most efficient way is because at presently 
the amount of influence you have to gain is not worth it really for the the rewards that the cycles give you so we're going to have another look we're going to, we're going to do another one just for a second demonstration so this one's rural field again i'm going to skip that one skip that one i know it's costing us trade goods but yet again we've got a lakeside setting underpowered and it's uh it's worth 330 first pre-32 trade goods now we're going to try and rattle through this one as quickly as possible and see what kind of time we can get it to uh, get it down to so um we'll load it in so we'll just quick look which one we're dealing with it's the exact same one so just gonna rush in with everybody like i say these walkers are zero threat whatsoever need to be obviously more cautious with fully leveled walkers but you can still rattle one of these off against level 19 walkers in about two minutes two and a half minutes if you are speedy with what you're doing so so everybody's lined up we're even going to leave him over there because he's not even relevant so if you have a look we had eight minutes to complete this outpost we're not even on the seven minute counter yet. We're going to capture the trade goods and complete exit in under a minute. We've completed it and we've bounced 332 trade goods with no injury whatsoever. So that's like um, two raids at um, about six, seven hundred trade goods. We've got there in two raids in a little over probably three minutes. And that's really a fast way to do it. Uh, ideally, you're looking at you can get 500 per one of these raids. I'm going to do one more final one just to show you. It'd be nice if it gives us a different map, different configuration. Um, I'll just keep. I'm just going to go into this one. I know I say try and avoid the rural setting, but um, you will encounter it quite a lot because it is the most favoured map for defensive reasons because it's uh, it's got a double defensive wall. So. I'm just going to go into it just to show you. Let's see if it does give us that configuration. Yet again, this person's got very weak walkers. And, and no, they haven't got that set up. So this is just another example of how this, this can work. So uh, we're just going to charge in. Because these are absolutely zero threat whatsoever. I'm just going to kill a few just to clear the old way. Okay. So you're probably looking at an average between one and two minutes to to complete a raid, if I'm honest with you, which is which is nothing really, in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to line them up at the gate. Probably one more turn. Yeah, one more turn needed. So we're just gonna didn't even have to move them. Leave it there. We're going to open the gate with Regina. There's the crate. Looks miles away, but Scout can easily get there. Completely unimpeded by the defenders. Complete it. Exit. Done it again. Simple as that, really. And there's a few maps, like I say, that you can't do that on. And uh, other than that, easy money, really. Easy money. I and mean, then you can go into the trade goods store and spend it on whatever you want, providing that the game gives you what you want in the new random generation rubbish that we've uh, that we've been given. So, yeah, hope that helps you get uh, as many trade goods as you possibly can. I say ideally works if you have a fuel booster running, but even if you don't, it's still a pretty good, still a pretty good method to um, to gain trade goods as quickly as possible. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helped. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.